Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone to another Warzone Pacific video. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you the best sniper build that you should be using inside of Warzone Pacific. Now, if you're anything like me, you have been utterly disappointed with the snipers inside of Caldera. They feel way too slow, sluggish, the flinch is ridiculous, the sights aren't that clean. Well, I have found something new. Rather, I had a pretty good build going, but then my buddy Bartonologist, who is arguably the best sniper in Warzone, even in competitive Warzone. I'll give him a shout out. And I'm gonna also going to thank him for giving me this build. He will be linked down in the description. If you want to check out some insane sniper gameplay, check out his Twitch. But he gave me this build right here. You can go ahead and take a screenshot of it right now, and I will show you what it looks like through gameplay. I'll show you what it looks like with aim down sight, and then I'm also going to tell you why we chose these individual attachments. If you enjoy this forward approach where I don't make you wait 30 minutes for a class, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more. But let's start off with the very start. So we have the Scout Silencer. This technically will hurt our damage range. You could also rock with the SD Silencer, but it'll kind of hurt your aim down sight speed. And I'm wanting to build a little bit of a faster build. You can make either decision whether or not you want to go for a full aim down sight speed or if you're really just going for like only going for headshots, I would just use this Scout Silencer, go for headshots because it doesn't really matter what your damage range is. As long as you're hitting headshots, they're going to die no matter what. Next up, we have the VDD REO 2K. The biggest thing here is it helps out with bullet velocity. You need this for the, the car to feel more hit scan, especially with the verticality on this map. You are shooting long ranges, and this is what you need to help out. Um, it also helps out with upper extremities damage, which is nice if you're hitting the shoulders. It does hurt your movement speed and aim down sight speed, but I promise you, you do not need to go with something like the Rapid to get the most out of this build. I'm going to show you what makes the aim down sight speed so incredible here in a moment. Next up, we have the SMLE's Pistol Grip. There's one or two options here. If you're someone who is a crazy fast quick scoper, you can rock this. This is what Barton rocks. If you're not as fast with your quick scopes, I would just rock the Strife Angled. And that's probably what I would rock moving forward. I rock the Pistol Grip in this one. The reason why I rock the Strife Angled is it helps out with some of that aiming stability and that aiming sway. But I'm going to skip forward real quick. I have the perk Deep breath equipped which allows you to hold your breath for even longer and what this allows you to do is basically just sit there and you don't have to worry about weapon sway because with deep breath you can hold your breath for like 30 seconds or something ridiculous so you don't need aiming stability because as soon as you aim it on sight you hold your breath and then it's you know locked in the entire time so two options there um he opted for the pistol grip if you're a super aggressive player that sprint to fire time actually will help you out with quick scoping next up we definitely want lengthened wink lengthened will give us more bullet velocity make it feel more hit scan if you really want to lean forward and go for a uh faster aim down sight you can go for the eight millimeter clouser three round mag that'll help you out with your aim down sight speed it'll also help you reload quicker but there's something unique to this class that i'm going to talk about here in a moment it actually helps you reload even faster. Next up, we have the Fabric Grip. This one is essential. It helps you out with your aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. Makes it feel a lot more snappy. Same thing can be said for the Short Stock, which helps you out with the movement speed, aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, uh, and also your aim walking, which is really nice. Keep in mind, while all of these are technically going to be hurting our, you know, steadiness, it doesn't really matter because of the fact that we can hold our breath so much with the deep breath and the VDD helps out a lot. But the real kicker, is the night vision scope this is what bart, bart turned me on to and it is incredible it looks ugly but it allows you to aim down sight so incredibly fast and on top of it with all the brush and the leaves and the ferns and everything across this map that makes it so difficult to see you've got people sticking out like bright white lights like the original og season one thermal hdr it's incredible to use this site there is one site that actually aims down sight even faster. It is absurd how fast it aims down sight. And it's actually the largest magnification. It's the 10x magnification. And but it's it is so far zoomed in, it's very, very difficult to use. So I rock the night vision scope. And for some reason, with the night vision scope, you don't input the bullets one by one. You can just throw a full five stack of ammo inside of it, which means I don't need this fast mag unless you want to rock that for the faster aim down sight speed which might be viable in solos but frankly 
This isn't doing a lot of damage to the chest, so I'm going to end up trying to go for the five rounds so that way I can get all of my shots without reloading. But I'm going to show you some gameplay. And actually, on top of all of this gameplay, I'm going to be doing some coaching. I'm going to be walking you through this entire gameplay, talking about my rotations, why I'm making the decisions I'm making all the way down to the wire. I have an absolute blast using this class. I promise you this will change your opinion on snipers. Now, make sure you guys have your notifications on for these videos because things like the max level glitch and also the plane pointing out how overpowered those were, they were both nerfed within 12 hours of me posting my videos. So if you want to be the first to know about whether it's broken guns, best way to level up your weapons, make sure you are subscribed here with notifications because I think someone from Raven is watching my videos and making fixes based off of what I'm telling you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you enjoy the rest of the gameplay and I'll catch you all on the next one or live over on Twitch. Oh, and one other thing before we get into the video, G Fuel is a limited time 30% off using code Isaac. If you want to stock up for the holiday grind, stock up for the new map grind, pick up some G Fuel that'll help keep you fresh, focused, and energized without all the jitters and the crash. Check out the pinned comment and the description and use code Isaac for that limited time 30% off. If you're wondering how I'm getting out all these videos on the first, second channel, and the 17 hour stream I just pulled off, it is G Fuel keeping me running. Enjoy. My bounty's moving towards me. I don't really have a long range weapon, so <clears throat> kind of a bad spot for me to put myself. I see him. I just can't do anything about him. I can ego my loadout. There we go. It's better than nothing. Yeah, I saw him right there. Here's your directions. Another one up there. Isaac. Bounty target is down. This guy just headshot my, my bounty. Enemy UAV active. Uh -oh. Enemy UAV active. <laughs> Thought that was his. A lot of UAVs getting active. I imagine one of them is here, and it is. How was that? Enemy UAV active. Recon inbound. UAV beginning flyover. Enemy UAV active. South over. Lower left window. UAV is out of fuel. Returning for resupply. Here's your directions. Enemy UAV active. Man, how many UAVs are going up? Money's just so much more prevalent in this game mode, which is nice, but it makes me not want to buy another UAV. It makes me want to get ghosted. Recon inbound. UAV beginning flyover. With how open everything is, though, I've, I've honestly been more tempted to run. Be here. Go. That was huge. That guy was ghosted, too. That was actually a Take massive kill. UAV is out of fuel. Returning for resupply. Fire station costs are adjusted. 
Constantly scanning my top left. I think it's the planes. I, I, I think there's like just a couple guys that are rolling around in planes and are just torching the lobby. I don't think they're good enough to stay alive the entire time because I haven't been harassed by one, but... I think that's what's happening to a lot of the early lobby. We got recon inbound. UAV beginning flyover. Meet here. So one there. One spot. He's doubling back towards the other buy. <clears throat> okay, one on each buy. I want to cut hard right, but if he spots me as I'm going into no man's land, I'm dead. UAV is out of fuel. Returning for resupply. Dude, Barry, you were just out of buy with the fire sale. Get yourself a self revive, my guy. the side glide just because one i didn't see anyone on my uav and two the gas is actually moving fairly quick and i don't want it right on my cheeks start so far only bad thing about this sniper is i can't see or at least i don't know how to tell yet if someone's sniping at me i didn't see any lens glare on any of the snipers that have been like sniping back at me it could be really nice for something like this holy Issue directions. It's a really tough decision, right? Because if you if you glide off, you can cover some serious ground. You can also get smoked out of the air. I'm just gonna hug left and see if I can catch any late rotates. Look like I am. Still has a chance for a guy to be above me though. So I'll stop short. Yep. Risky for me to do that right, but at least confident I can at least land a shot. Hopefully. Safe zone relocated. Alright, so we know there's someone on orange. Fire sales done. Prices are back to normal. Expect with the new map that a lot of people are gonna be slow rotating. Like that's almost a guarantee, right? People don't know the map as well. They're hesitant. Including myself. Oh my gosh. Bro, I was literally just gonna put the cluster there. Bring on the heat here. Incoming bombing run, thank you for that. Fuck your strike is active. Gas is moving. Did I see someone? That's ropes. Okay, there's the dead body. Where's the murderer? Bullet velocity on this car is great. A lot of fun to use. Pushing for a UAV now. Make sure I don't get sniped while I buy. Pop it quick. Get up. But as expected, it's solos. Everyone in the grandmother is ghosted. Let's go check out the loot on this guy. Speaking of 
grandmothers. Get back in there. UAV is out of fuel. Returning for resupply. A way to get to the roof. There is. Okay, so shots were out of this building. Meet here. All the all the bombing runs sound like footsteps. Big kill right there. That guy was pretty good. Enemy team is tracking your position. I heard footsteps. God, this game is so much fun. What's that? I didn't even check. Air strike? Okay. something I think I'm like super paranoid I thought I heard a footstep behind me as always whenever we rotate always looking for our next piece of cover one little pro strat you can kind of use oh I, I am hunted there he is there he is I didn't even realize I was getting hunted. I'm still tunnel visioned right now. Very likely that there's someone in this building. Keep an eye on the windows. Check them on left. Unlooted. Gas is inbound. Marking new safe zone. A loadout drop inbound. That building could be pretty powerful, but... So, what I was saying before I almost got shot is... Wait. I just got bombing run stunned? Oh my gosh. As you can tell, wherever someone is... Because the bombing runs always land on people. money i'm trying to find uh like i'm hoping to get lucky and find like a streak this is really slow for right now because i'm just gonna pick up ghosts you see, there's a shot from left to right over there. You got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Ah. 
All right, so that building, like, 100% has someone in it. This is the only safe Issue building. Direct. There's still five, four of the people left. Pretty sure one is in this building is going to get forced out, right? Because we saw that sniper shot. This is a cheat code. Gas is inbound. We'll get tunnel vision, though. Check our left. So there is a rock cover right there. I see him. Someone. Let's go. Bring on the heat here. This is Phoenix 3. Strike inbound. No enemy hits on that run. I needed a good piece of cover and somewhere to hide behind. Probably in the house. He has to be in the house. Still standing, right? I think I see him in the lower left window. Let's go, baby! That's the first solo win in Caldera! Come on! It's a, it's a little tough when they're, like, when they're, that guy, he had, like, the, the bush, like, camouflage, and then he was peeking around a corner in between a bush, and he was cold-blooded. So that was, like, I almost missed him. He could have ripped my head off there. And I can't see his glint. But uh, outside of that, man, I mean, because you can still, I saw, like, all the cold-blooded people easily. I could even see the people through the gas crazy easy. Picture perfect through the gas. Yeah, it was a sweet game. I love the new map, too. That was a really fun win. Almost a 20 bump, too. Almost a 20 bump.